Yes, good evening. Welcome to the press conference of the bikerpetition.co.uk lightweight TT, the inaugural running of the Super Twin class here on the Isle of Man. And your top three in third place, Michael Rutter. In second place, James Hillier. And your winner, Ryan Farquhar. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Michael. Uh, the fastest lap of the race. Yeah, got my, uh, my head down that last lap and I thought I'd try and push on with it a bit. And, uh, you know, um, everything went well. I didn't see anyone on the track, really. It was clear lap, so uh, it was ideal. You're 30, uh, so looking at it, 12th podium here at the Isle of Man TT. Not a bad record, considering you had a little break. I think the last one was in 1966, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what about your pit crew, McGuinness and Parrish? Uh, yeah, well, you know, we had a look around the paddock and we could see who we could find and uh, obviously we didn't find very good ones. <laughs> Are they going to get paid? You were saying they weren't going to. Yeah, we're going to pay them over the next few years and uh, they'll be paid well. Mm. Steve's looking at yeah, suspiciously on that one. <laughs> Doesn't quite know what to make of that. But a pit stop possibly did cost you maybe seconds because you just couldn't get out of the pit, it seemed. Couldn't fire up. Oh, basically, um, uh, just no one told me to put it into neutral, really. So I just uh, pulled up like I did on my, on my race bike and... Uh, it was in first gear, just ready to. Nothing was, everything was dead, and I, I thought, am I pressing the wrong switch? So I went through all the switches, and uh, and I thought, well, it's definitely not starting. So I started pushing myself off down, uh, you know, uh, down the pit lane. But uh, luckily, uh, Steve came with his uh, bad leg and uh, dragged it along and got it started for me. Well done, Steve. I'm in the 300 metres. <laughs> 300 metres, he says. Right. What about conditions then? Uh, good decision to get this race underway. Everybody was cautioned at the start. The clerk of the course uh, came and spoke to you, Gary Thompson, all the riders before you went out. Yeah, it was perfect decision. You know, um, I wouldn't like to be on my super bike out there then. Uh, you know, the, there's too many patches in different places and... Uh, you know, with those things, you know, you can't even see. I don't know about to see wet patches. Um, you know, they're frightening. So uh, it was a perfect decision what they said. You know, this class is like at the Northwest 200. You know, it saved the day at the end of the day. Um, in the, and, you know, you can see on them, you can look round, you know, you can see the wet patches coming. Um, on a suit bike, you just can't do that. So, um, you know, it was perfect class for the day. Congratulations, Michael Rutter, third place today. And uh, James Hillier, congratulations to your first podium here at the Isle of Man TT. Congratulations. Thank you. You had one at the Northwest, of course, as well, at uh, the 200 there. That must have filled you with confidence coming in here. And the performances you put in, there's been great consistency in all the other races this, uh, this year. Yeah, um, definitely. Um, just building on, on on what I'm, you know, each year, year on year, getting slowly faster. And you know, I haven't made a big jump up in my times this year, but I'm getting more comfortable at that pace. You know, so next year again, we can jump up and just le learning and put everything in the bag and dig it out when I need it. You know, and every every time I'm riding a lap, I'm learning again. As as they say, you never stop here. So straight through on lap one. Yeah, we uh, that was a bit of a plan. Uh, we, it's. A tough call to make, I think, but um, we were talking about the money there on the podium about who's leading watch laps and that. So it worked. Oh, we don't even think about it, but it worked out to our advantage a little bit. But um, <laughs> it. it uh, <laughs> canny race, that's canny racing, Michael Russell would call that. <laughs> it was Michael that brought it up, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, just uh, mixed it up a little bit. I suppose it probably made it a bit more exciting to watch. And um, I, just, I knew what I had to do. I just rode the thing as fast as I could on, on the bits I knew were on the bits of track that I knew were dry and and uh, we're, we're here. So great for the spectators this class and over three laps because it was mixed up. Nobody until Glenn Helen really on lap three had a real idea of how it was all going to wash out. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. It sort of adds a bit of excitement, I suppose. And um, uh, I don't know, really. It just stirs things up a bit for the for the. For the TV and, the, and then everyone out there watching, you know, there's quite a lot of people still out there, you know, at the Craig and that cheering. So it's, you know, it's good to see they've had something worthwhile out of sitting on a bank all day in the in the bad weather. So absolutely. And where was particularly bad? We were told about a three mile stretch on the mountain around the bungalow area. <coughs> yeah, it went um, to. Thank you. It um, it Great. wasn't as bad as what it had made out to be at the, be the beginning, but um, you know, it's hard. When as someone says it's damp or um, wet, you do you do expect the worst, you know. So it was more patchy. There was no solid wet areas. It was um, 
you would never have really been able to explain to someone quite how bad it was or how, how it was. We'd um, you had to ride it yourself to figure that out. Which after the first lap, I think we all knew where we were stood with things, and and we went from there. Well done, James. Great to see you in here Thank and you. on the podium. And Ryan Farquhar, I can't actually see you because of the uh, size of the trophy there. Uh, inaugural trophy, magnificent trophy once again, and uh, fits in nicely with the Isle of Man TT collection. But Ryan, you've been a real vanguard of this Super Twin class, so everybody saw you as favourite, and I guess you felt you were under real pressure today. Aye, well, you know, there was people, you know, saying I had a pretty good uh, qualifying on the bike all week, you know, practice went really well, but a lot of people had me down as favourite and, you know, I was putting pressure on myself, but uh, I just wanted to get, you know, get into a steady rhythm as soon as possible and I knew, you know, I'd been watching the, the, the practice times all week and I, I knew Michael was coming from number seven and James was in front, so I had a fair idea uh, James would set the pace, so whenever he was setting off 10 seconds in front, I could chase him down and uh, whenever I come out onto Crankavati, you know, I knew I'd closed him down probably within uh, five or six seconds and just thought to myself, happy days here, you know, and uh, I just rode as hard and as steady as I could. I was a bit like James, I was expecting the conditions to be much worse, and there's a few places I went into probably easier than I could have, you know, but yeah, you're better being on the right side of cautious, and just every, everything went really well. I'd opted to, to pit at the end of the first lap, and, you know, every, everything went like clockwork, you know, just the... The, the, strat the strategy would set out, you know, just it worked a, worked a dream. Your third TT win, but the last one in 2005, you didn't get uh, a, a watch uh, for winning a TT back then, an expensive Graham watch as well. No, it was, you know, I'm over the moon to get a watch. I saw all these lads that has won TTs and they've got nice watches and I have one too. I never got a watch, but I've got one now. But, you know, I'm to totally over the moon. You know, I'm really happy for, for, for Michael. You know, he, he's, you know, he done really well in my bike at the Northwest, you know, and to have a first, second, third, the Northwest and to have a first and a third here at the TT. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll even take a bit of credit for, for James's bike. Uh, you know, it has been my workshop of his chassis is modified exactly the same as ours and you know there's quite a few bits of uh, you know there's quite a few parts on the bike that you know I you know that was my design and you know I'll take a bit of credit for his second place as well but I have to you know. ask you there is there anybody in the field that you aren't involved in at the Super Twins well you know the majority of Kawasaki's if nearly every one of them has a very swing arm they've all copied me as well so but a big thank you to Kawasaki you know they've been uh, through thick and thin they've been behind me 100% and uh, hopefully you know this you know is their class at the minute and you know, with a bit of luck and not be long to Honda and Yamaha, I'll join the party. And with a bit of luck, maybe next year we'll have two races. You know, everybody that rides the bikes to enjoy them. And even if conditions aren't uh, perfect, you know, we've proved today that uh, we can take them out. And, you know, tyres aren't an issue and spectators can get to see racing. And that's what they pay to come to see. So no matter what way you look at it, it is the future road racing. And I'm, I'm delighted to be, you know, a small part of that. Just finally, Ryan, you must leave the Isle of Man a very happy man with a, a win here and two other podiums. You've had a, a great 2012 TT. It has. It went really well, but uh, I was a bit disappointed with the electrical problem on, on the 600 and the superbike just wasn't working. But uh, the first time I ever rode the superbike was the Northwest and uh, had a pretty good straight setting straight away. And, you know, I followed Michael around for a few laps and actually was in front of him for, even though he's in a factory bike, I'm only a privateer, paid for it myself, like, but, <laughs> but if uh, only I could explain <laughs> the look on Michael Rutter's face there, he looked up to the heavens, here we go again, <laughs> black country, <laughs> no, every, everything went, uh, everyone went well for us, the Northwest and Superbike, I was disappointed the, the chassis didn't work here and the grounds of safety would just knocked it in the head and uh, I would have been up for riding this evening, uh, even in those conditions, but th they probably would have suited me, to be honest. But, uh, you know, the organisers and the grounds of safety, they've made the right decision. You, you know, everything they've done all week has been uh, bang on. You know, even the 600 race last Wednesday night or Wednesday evening. And, you know, it's just it's great to be part of the another successful TT. 
Well, congratulations, Ryan. And uh, well, that is the podium for the bikerpetition.co.uk lightweight TT, the first one here around the mountain course. In third place, Michael Rutter. In second place and on the podium for the first time here at the TT, James Hillier. And a winner for the third time around the mountain course, Ryan Farquhar. Back up to Charlie.